What is up everyone and welcome to episode 157 of the Myth Playthrough of Wizard 101 Pyramid of Mother Moon Dungeon. It is dungeon time. To complete the second section of Azteca. And then next will be the Floating Mountains. Hopefully everyone is enjoying their day today. Last episode was really fun. I kid you not. I was dying a lot. <laughs> Mostly from the battles, the boss fights. Mob battles took a while, but uh, you know, somehow pulled it off. Kid, my other myth wizard helped out, but uh, yeah, it all went good. But uh, yeah, I got my other myth wizard helping out with this dungeon because it is not going to be easy. Because the very end of this is a double boss fight. I don't know how it would be possible to solo it. So, yeah. To stay up to date on the channel, click on the like button for more Myth Playthrough videos. And if you like Wizard and Pirate 101, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, so that you'll know when I post Wizard and Pirate videos daily. I can't remember how many mob battles there are in this dungeon. Probably not a whole lot. I have a feeling with the upcoming boss battles of Azteca are not going to be easy, but I know there's another double boss fight in the Twin Giants and along with Belloc. Because in the very beginning of Azteca with one of the dungeons, defeated Belloc. But he didn't do his cheat, but since I do, we do have to fight him again, he will do his cheat. So it is not going to be easy. So, like I've said, I have a feeling the upcoming battles of Azteca are not going to be easy. It's going Ahoya! to get. Ahoya! Azure Shining One. In vain I sacrificed myself. In vain I tried to resist the Shadow Queen. Her dark servant of death pulled me from the bodiless place, then compelled me to show them the way to Mother Moon. The dark servant is pulling the oldest children of Azteca back from the beyond and chaining them for the Shadow Queen. It's Queen Neza! A wizard, you certainly didn't think a roof cave in would finish me off, did you? What do you think of the Pyramid of Mother Moon? I've had enough time to consider a few changes. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? How Merle Ambrose sends you into the jaws of danger so unprepared. I must go and find a few more ancient Aztecosaurs, but I don't want you to feel ignored. 
The pyramid's guardian spirit is angry with you. And to make things interesting, let's make King Neza join the duel too. <laughs> Yikes. You have defiled Mother Moon and scarred the history and pride of this land. I will destroy you all! Ahoya! Ahoya! It is time to remove your heart, Azure Shining One, to see if it continues to hold its light beyond life. Okay. And the prisms. Just look at this. I don't need the one hits. Well, okay. Let's see what we can do here. Here he comes. Okay. So two mob battles and then the double boss fight. Hit next. That should do it for the Pyramid of Mother Moon. Just be safe. Let us leave this place of ignominy. Find me by Ozil Underwater Cat. Okay. There you have it. Oh, that's right. Went through the secret door. I was swallowed by the shadow, but you have pulled me out of the blackness. 
the depths of the shadow are nearly limitless. But twice now, you have done what I could not, Azure, Shining One. Three of the great step pyramids have been lost. Next is Falling Star, the highest and hardest to reach. Ozel Underwater Cat, do you know how to reach the Pyramid of the Falling Star? It is beyond the floating mountains of the Jaguars. I have been down here for too long. It will take one of yours to guide him. Return to Cloudburst Forest and find Lady Zen Zen there. She will have to help you reach new heights. Okay, then. By the way, leveled up. 89. 11 levels away from 1... Hundred. Be there before you know it. quicker to go to Zokolo. Magician, your words are full of sorrow. To reach the Pyramid of the Falling Star, you need to ascend to the Jaguar lands of the Floating Mountains. For that, we'll need to step up. The Flower Treant Yashche should know how. Go and ask him. How to get to the Floating Mountains? Ever-blooming magician, you have returned this way. The floating mountains. Yes, there is a way, but I do not remember it. That is not entirely true. A petal door leads from Alto Alto to the floating mountains, but I cannot recall the ritual. If only I had some potash. Wait. Shadow Weaver prowlers have salvaged potash from the area for the magical essence imbued in the soil. Can you get some? I should but I will end off the episode right here. So, next time, getting into the floating mountains. So, thanks for watching. Click on the like button for more myth playthrough videos. And if you like Wizard and Pirate 101, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you know when I post Wizard and Pirate videos daily. With that, have a great rest of your day today, and I will see you guys next time.